My name is AJ. I like football and video games. And I hate school. It's Miss Daisy is crazy. Miss Daisy is Crazy was written by Dan Gutman and illustrated by G by by Jim Pilot Jim Pilot Jim Pilo and illustrated by Jim It was published by Harper Trophy and is part of the My Weird School series of books It is about AJ an eight-year-old boy who hates school, and his new teacher, Miss Daisy, whom he thinks is crazy. Every day, AJ goes to school and tells his teachers that he hates school, or he hates maths, or he hates spelling. But one day, the first day of second grade, so day one, if you like, his teacher surprises him by saying that she hates school too, and would much rather be lying on the sofa eating chocolates. When she says she hates maths and spelling too, he starts to think that Miss Daisy might be crazy. This is a chapter book, and it is for early readers, which means the words and stories are not difficult. This book is aimed at boys, especially boys who are like AJ, and who might need a bit of help getting started with reading. Nevertheless, Girls would enjoy it too. There are no boys' books or girls' books, just books. This is an enjoyable book. It is realistic, like Wimpy Kid, but not quite as funny. It is also not a graphic novel. It is a chapter book with pictures, like the Rainbow Magic books or the Pony Mad Princess. I recommend this book and all of the other weird school books for young people who want to read in English but find books like Captain Underpants or Geronimo Stilton a bit difficult. Oh, and I don't think Miss Daisy is crazy. I think she's actually a very clever teacher. See if you agree with me when I read an extract. Here are my ratings. The English is quite easy and the story is very easy to follow. There are loads of other books in the series, and they are halfway between serious and funny. Here's an extract. Chapter 3. How to Spell Read Before school started, my mother told me that second grade was the most interesting grade because this was the year that I would be able to read chapter books all by myself. I already knew how to read, even though I had tried very hard not to learn. You see, my friend Billy told me that you really don't have to know how to read. Billy says that when you grow up and make lots of money, you can pay people to read for you. That sounded good to me. I hate reading, I announced when Miss Daisy passed out some spelling worksheets. Me too, agreed Miss Daisy. You do? We all asked. Yup, she said. I can't read a word. You can't? Nope. You can't even spell the word read? Michael Robinson asked. I don't have a clue, she said, scratching her head the same way she did when she told us she didn't know how to multiply four times four. Just sound it out, Miss Daisy, Andrea suggested. R-E-E-D, Miss Daisy said. No! We all shouted. I give up, she said. Do any of you know how to spell the word read? R-E-A-D, we all chanted. Wow, I didn't know that, marvelled Miss Daisy. You have taught me a lot today. How did you get to teach second grade if you don't even know how to spell read? Asked Ryan. Well, I figured that second graders don't know how to spell very well, so it wouldn't matter whether or not I could spell. I know how to spell lots of hard words, Andrea Young announced. Me too, everybody else said. Really? Miss Daisy said. Like what? Everybody started shouting out words and how to spell them, but Miss Daisy stopped us and made us take turns. She had each of us go up to the chalkboard and write three words we knew. I wrote, tonight, writing and McDonald's. By the time we were done, the whole chalkboard was filled with words. 
There wasn't even any room left for more. Wow, Miss Daisy said. You kids have taught me so much this morning. I'm really glad I decided to become a teacher.